Welcome to the Mirror of Return, part two. I mean, just to skip the fortress, we're heading north to uh, the pyramid. The Precursor's pyramid is sealed, just as Larry has told you. The local researcher, Zinus, might know how to access it. Only with the Mirror of Return and the elemental stones in your possession will you be able to break the fortress's curse. You need to find it no matter the cost. You are a stranger to this place, and no one knows who you are. Avoid any violent confrontations with the locals. Wherever those bandits came from, they left their hideout in a mad rush. Look out for any remaining personal valuables of the bandit's chief. After you are in possession of the mirror and done with your other tasks, you'll need some rest. In the nearby city should be a comfort inn. Just avoid any violent confrontations with the locals mean. Does that mean don't knock anybody out? Or does it just mean, does it mean don't get anybody trying to chase me and kill me? Because that's a violent confrontation, even if it's not me committing the violence. Again, so uh, slightly uh, confusing ambiguity, I guess. I'll find out when I fail a mission by mistake. Maybe it just means don't kill anyone, but it's, you know. Well, usually better when they say what they mean. Okay. Loading. <laughs> oh, right, we just came in this uh, door, which led us into a uh, big cave of glowy blue crystals. Like a clink. See what we've got on us. Uh, Larry's journal still. Yeah, nothing new here, right? This is just the same. Yeah. And the letter that he wants us to give to uh, his friend. I mean, I should have the same equipment I had before, right? Or whatever's left over. I wasn't really thinking about campaigns and continuations, but. Uh, Seem to have a reasonable set of equipment anyway, so. I could be jumping in the water down there. Who knows if there's a good reason to? I suppose now we have a map, right? Is helpful? No. That would be much too helpful. Maybe this actually goes down to the water? Yeah. Oh, hello? I think I see a good reason to come down here. Maybe there's another good reason? I don't know. Some loot? Well, I mean, I don't know if we're going to have a chance to go to a shop and spend it, but... Only off chance we do. That'll be useful. Kind of strikes me as uh, amusing how uh, the uh, pitched on something for a second. It's all right, it didn't affect my jump. Now the perennial excuse. In objectives is oh yeah, gosh, still gotta pay the rent, get so many thousand gold, and it's like, huh? Firstly, it seems like a ton of loot. Secondly, that's a ton of rent. Like he's original rent costs more than most mansions, but or something. Um, the campaigns few and far between, but in the main campaign. You use your money for oh, hello. You use your money any in what any mission to buy equipment for the next. Now that does not look like a safe place to jump down. Oh, 
Whereas most fan missions are standalone and so the loot goal has no real context. It's just, oh, just find this amount of stuff. I don't know. Just musing. Well, I guess we're, uh... Doing lots of jumping here. I mean, it may have been possible to get to that ladder, actually. Is it? I mean, there's nothing on there, right? Definitely not a good place to be. No, nothing on there, that's just a spot on the texture. Okay, it's just just being suspicious, you know, about perhaps missing optional loot. With the bright blue fog. Oh, seems a little odd. Still buy two breath potions and then use it. Maybe that'll be handy. I guess I see how we're crossing the canyon. Dangerously. Maybe it's also dangerous. It's, it's, it's a perfectly safe bridge, right? Right? Yeah, that could have gone badly. Climb this vine? I can. <laughs> One can never tell. Oh, yeah, we have the undead to worry about, don't we? In a manner of speaking. <laughs> Didn't the pyramid was supposed to be north, so what? Happens if we come around here, sort of southwards. Hear some strange shrieking noises. Looks like that's going to let us continue on. I wonder if there's anything of value. Oh, that's the strange shrieking noises. And these guys. Okay, it doesn't doesn't look like we've got any kind of loot on the ground that I'm missing. It's just a slight bit of a maze and avoidance problem. No problem really. 
On which? She never has to be Sarah. Well, even though I don't have loot gold, maybe I shouldn't go chasing a loot when I don't have loot gold, you know? But maybe I was chasing fame and fortune, just exploring. Wow, is, this, is it really supposed to be bright blue? I guess. Hello? Thorax. Nice to see a friendly face. Oh, well, I see a, uh, some kind of stone down here. Gold. Not unwelcome. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're gonna go up the hill there. So, what's on the other side here, actually? Anything? I don't know, some plants grow silver nuggets, or maybe, yeah, I mean, that might have been just a freak of nature, the one that I found, but, oh, you know, uh, that's rather worse than a thoric, and I'm surprised they're not at odds with each other. I'm not, my friend. <laughs> Ouch. Now I can't see where it is, which has problems of its own. Okay, let's get back up. Yeah, we'll kind of jump when requested. <laughs> yeah, deserty barracks. They're a little sandier color than the cave ones. Another one, okay, there was here. Barracks are happy, I'm happy to let them live and avoid them. Is she upset by the dead spider? Sure, don't be. It's not, it's, it's got, yeah, he's upset by it. I'm sorry, was that your pet? I didn't realize. Well, that's awkward for me because uh, he's going to go searching. His friend, his buddy's about to come searching as well. Yes, and now I, you know, I'm trying to get past them. Wait, where's this? Oh, there. Alright, well, if they're both going up the hill, that's okay, I suppose. Shit, you saw me. They both saw me. Wait. 
Wait, let's try and come down here, I think. <laughs> Make our escape. Swept labyrinth in desert formations. Guess that's going to be the way forward. You know, checking for loot. No loot gold, but it's an old habit, right? And besides, Gareth's always got to pay the rent, even when his objectives don't tell him, don't say him as much. <clears throat> Hello? Um... Are you guys going to be friendly? Desert town. It's called well, it a city, but I wouldn't quite call it a city. It's a little small, hello. Ah, fortified towns. Nice to run into. Still can't shake a what was that? A less box or a bird box or a small coffin. Probably meant for mail. Still can't shake a weird feeling of Jesus Poop in this mission. I know I've never played it before, and yet so many parts of it feel like I've seen it before, and I don't understand why that is. Curiosity shop, open hours 8 till 12. Buy and sell many things. Currently wanted bark eggs, moon tears, sand bombs. We believe in the book of infinity and are looking for the key to the universe. You that strayed from the path of knowledge. We believe that everybody is a small gear, a part of a much bigger unified whole. We believe in the enlightenment of every single human. We believe that everyone can contribute to the completion of the Book of Infinity, where all knowledge will be written down on paper. We count on you. I don't have time to write out Books of Infinity. Okay. Is this an inn? It's got stairs that are easy to step on. Doors that are not doors. Okay, where are we? On the north end of town. Alright, it's just north of the square. Oh, there's another gate. Ah. Park. Fountains. How come... How come there's all this greenery in the middle of the desert? Where's all the water come from for this? Spring up from the ground, no less. It seems... Might unusual. 
I bet I can't climb these ones, right? That's that's inconsistent. On behalf of the level designer, unfortunately, sometimes you can climb the climbing vines, and sometimes you cannot. What am I even trying to do right now? Search for complete indigus males of rest? I mean, I'm supposed to be getting to the pyramid, right? Well, that's not going to be a comfy end for resting. If I had rope arrows, I could get up on the wall there, but I have no rope arrows. Welcome to our milk bar, milky cow. Um, I was just hearing his guard, but maybe that's just where I came in. Our milk gives pleasure to you, gustatory nerves. We offer delightful good milk, tasty camel milk, fresh llama milk, freshly tapped burnt milk, and a comprehensive choice of exotic milk and dairy products. We recommend the following meals. Baked Immentale cheese, hot yogurt with sand, bitter clarified butter, and many other delightful products. Club members receive 7.42 discount on all products. A valid membership card is required, and the orders must be placed between 12pm and 0am. Solo and group performances on our stage each Saturday. Let me just see if I can find a nice angle for... Uh... Maybe if maybe for a screenshot or something. I don't know. Maybe. What's the sign on this door? Is that just where it came in? No, this is a different gate. Completely blank? Hmm. That might be the end. This just takes me back to the market square, right? Hello, I haven't... That's where I came in. Go here. Up to date news for the 32nd week in the year of the horned rat. Breaking news, a mysterious rune was discovered in Kundaran, and it seems to be the lost temple of a long forgotten god. No one has been able to decrypt the writings imprinted into the walls yet, but the gold covered walls continue to lure dozens of adventurers and thieves into the area. Travel advice, Mr. Ragnar is about to open his new restaurant, to the Yowling Hyena. Apart from the chef's specialty, the local food, they will serve delicious snake neck soup, flambéed barak, and tasty crab bites, as well as food from foreign countries. Weather, as usual there will be a lot of sunshine, almost no clouds, and no rain at all. However, there could be huge sand drifts, and even sandstorms, over the course of the weekend. Local news, the spate of burglaries in this area continues with no end in sight. The latest victim was the local carpenter. Several planks and a coffin were stolen. Perhaps the villain wants to punish himself and be buried soon. A new device has been invented in Kale. The inventor, Lady Loletta, calls her invention the three-sided dumper. With the help of this machine, it is possible to transport sand or stone and to unload it either to the left, to the right, or just in forward direction. What an improvement in comparison to the common one-sided dumpers. Official announcement. The council has decided that each citizen must clean the street in front of his house from sand and dirt. You will be punished if you should abstain from doing so. Alright. All the wind blown sand, huh? Okay. Right, go around in a circle. I just realized something, right? Just realized something about this, uh. Is it here? No. What's up here? This post box. You have a letter, right? Is this is this what we're supposed to deliver it to? I mean, it could be. I don't know. Hmm. Can't take it back. Just in case, I'm going to reload. That's weird because nothing happened. Maybe I need to find out if um, Kofi is actually here first. I 
happens. Another notice I haven't read as well. Also blank. This seems to be perhaps an issue with some texts. That's odd. So what's going on out this way? Are you guys hostile? No, oh, hey. I guess I can't pick your pocket while well, uh, you know I'm there, but. Ah, hey! You got a big target on your chest. Are you alright, man? Coward, face me like a man. Where the hell did he go? That seems slightly problematic. Dead, I tell you, as soon as I find you. Is that going to fail the mission? I mean, that counts as a violent confrontation with the locals, doesn't it? I know you're around here somewhere. I'm going to reload that because that's definitely not supposed to work that way. Is there any way to go out this way? I mean, yes, but I don't know if I'm supposed to go there yet. I'm a little confused as to the order I'm supposed to be doing things in. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy's arrow. Oh, yeah. I might need him against the spiders. Alright. We can go in here. Kind of establishment. <laughs> Fully guarded. A nice pile of boxes. Oh. Okay. I can't drop the scrape. I'm just stuck. Alright, there's something there's something definitely wrong. Um I'm going to see if I can figure out what. I guess I'll be reloading here. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go up and tell him no more guard duty. Six taffing years of guard duty. I'm gonna put my finger up and say uh, I've had enough. Yep. That's it. All right. I'm going to just go investigate. Where maybe there's some uh, bug fixes I should be using or something. I'll be back. All right. First off, um, the issue with the crates in there. We'll go check it out in a minute. Hang on. Wrong direction. Uh. The execution with the crates in there appears to be sporadic. It doesn't. I checked in the editor and there's nothing wrong with the crates. It's probably just the, something like uh, the object limits that are set up. It's probably some uh, overflow happening or something. It's messing up things. Occasionally that happens. Complex missions. Uh, but uh, this sign here that was blank, turns out it did have text in German. Uh, so I just ran that through Google Translate, which seemed to produce something reasonably prominent, so we can read it. Big dog race again today. Join in, let your greyhound run for you, or bet on one of the many other greyhounds. Believe in your luck and win a multiple of your stake. If you haven't tried, you've already lost. On the other hand, the uh, sign outside this, <sighs> this building here does not have any text. Neither in the German nor the English. So, um. Just see how we get on with it, I guess. 
Now let me check this crates again. Saving here. And now they behave not now, just behaves normally. So it's very weird just to have it be undroppable. And it's suggests stacking. I mean I see why I might want to stack crates. There's uh Some valuables at the top layer. <laughs> Not even up the top necessarily. Okay. Dear leg, let's see if that will restore my last hit point. No such luck. Any the fire? No. I can hear somebody snoring, so I'm being. trying to be pretty quiet. What does this say? Bill, according to our non cupative agreement, I put you in account for the following. Number of sessions, one. Length of a session, 30 minutes. Price per session, 500. Amount payable, 250. And don't listen to the people that tell you that my sessions cost only 50. Signed, MH, Dr. Malik Hynek, legitimate psychotherapist. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go in the fireplace. This cutthroat of a shrink that calls himself Dr. Malik Hynek. How can he dare to bring such a huge amount of money to account for the last session? This madman, this cutthroat, this mean freak. He visits me once a month. We have a session, and now this. I'm not cured at all. I'm still afraid of heights. I cannot even jump down some stairs. His advice to jump them backwards or to close my eyes did not help at all. He can go and get stuffed. I would make this quack pay if his friends weren't so important and well known. It's much cheaper to get mad without the help of this shrink. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. I sympathize with the, uh, your plight, with the exorbitant charges, but, uh,. You're not going to have much money left to pay you at all, uh, if I have, have anything to say about it. Ooh. One by one stairs. Right, this gets me out on the balcony. I mean, nice piece of the town. Or it would be nicer if it wasn't for uh, a strange night fog. But, uh... hmm. Well, that's not valuable. That is. It looks very much like the gold candlesticks they had in the uh, fortress, but I guess that one's just brass. Not really worth much of anything at all. That's an interesting light thing. Okay, so we've got another stack of boxes here. Not hiding anything, are they? No. So perhaps somewhere we could profitably stack boxes out here. Not really. Okay, just boxes. Sometimes just a pile of boxes. It's just a pile of boxes and not a uh, tease from level designer. All right. I guess we are going out this gate. Hey guys, don't mind me. Oh, there's more of the town down here. Or more buildings.
He's south. Is it somewhere I can reasonably get to or not? Doesn't look like part of the an occupied part of the town. That wall is broken down. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Cliff wasn't going to be an option, but uh, this way it seems to be. I can get in there. Can I get around the side of the building as well? I can. Let's scout out and see what, what's going on here. Oh, more undead. Okay. I wonder if this was the old bandit camp that they uh, abandoned. I mean, it's, it's by the by the water, so presumably, you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say about being by the water. This is... Well... Nice views. Not anything else. Back down we go. Let's check the other tower. Maybe the zombies have left more loot at the top of this one. Who knows? Doesn't seem likely, but it does seem possible. Nope. Just more of a view. Alright. Good letters though, set up properly, you can you can walk onto them. I mean again I could go swimming but I don't really see a reason to. Nothing hiding in there. All right. Let's see what's in these buildings. <laughs> Hello. Um. What do you have? What's your best beer right now? Uh, yeah, no, not my favorite. I'll pass. <laughs> Take this wine, though. Uh, I mean, it was to say, find a nice comfy inn, right? <laughs> Spend the night. Could count. <laughs> so this is a part of the town that's really being lost to uh, 
Yeah, I'm dead. Well, that's just about not him. All right. See on the other building worth mentioning. Bits and pieces of value, but uh, not a great deal. Yeah, right, guys. I need to get excited. It's just me. Was just tell us nothing. <gasps> Hand of glory, hello. Uh, oh yes, any remaining personal valuables of the bandit chief? Yes, indeed. Okay, so this is where the bandits came from. It didn't look to me like a bandit hideout, but bandit chief was an enormous building for himself. And the two towers, uh, I don't know where the rest of the bandits go. <laughs> uh, where the rest of the bandits live. Well, this is worth coming to. I guess the rest of the bandits just spend all their time in the bar, right? Didn't surprise me. I've been in there, that's right. I didn't go in this room. Oh, I guess this is where the rest of the bandits live. My arrows, mines. Sigil's notes. Extract of Sigil's notes. The foray across the white water paid off. I don't know why the others concentrate on the city. But if you know the right spots, as I do, then there is always something to take. I've been to the old cottage that seemed to be abandoned for a while now. The lock was quite tough to pick and it looked like vandals used to live there. Suddenly my attention was attracted by a golden necklace on the floor. It would be a pity to leave the necklace in this shabby hut. I took it with me and hid it in my treasure near the river canyon, next to the waterfalls. Treasure... River canyon? Okay. Roots. Loaf of bread. No, I'll just eat that right away. Give him peckers. Pyrus. I fell out of my bed last night as the earth was shaking, as if he wanted to punish us. I was praying for my sins throughout the entire night. This morning, the young Knilts returned ashen-faced from his duty. He mumbled something about the gate to hell and fire-spitting dragons. Most of us started to laugh at the boy, but only some hours later we saw one of those monsters on the top of a hill next to our hideout. No one has dared to leave the place on his own since then. Oh, is the barracks to chase him? Let me know. Fire-spitting is kind of... Gross fog gas I suppose if it's flammable. Right, River Canyon next to the waterfalls. Actually, hang on, is that out 
Is that out here? Is that what the water here is? Is this the River Canyon or is this a different bit of water? Don't know whether his nose is referring to uh, this town or somewhere entirely different. Well, let's take a look. No, I can't. There's nothing out here. All right. The only other thing on my mind just at the moment is... Uh, no, the, way. the letter we were supposed to post. Does kind of strike me that maybe I should have posted it, even though I got no feedback when I did. And I had no reason to know if that was the right house or not. Because I had a letter, and there was a letterbox. I'm just not sure that uh, the way the objectives are set up in this mission that I should expect any more direct indication or not. So, <clears throat> uh, I might just, maybe I should run back up to the town. We have to get to a nice comfy inn, right? There's a nice comfy inn at the town, even though the sign is blank. What's the worst that could happen? We don't. Ah, oh, the town is right here. Gotta be his. It's gotta be him, right? Can be anyone else for in here? I mean, it let us put the letter in the letterbox. It's not like it's random, right? Let's let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's get it done. Hey guys! Do you know about the zombies down there? No. Don't think it's true at all. Don't think it's true at all? No, those zombies were really there. You telling you calling me a liar? I think he, I think he thinks I'm a liar. I mean wouldn't necessarily be entirely incorrect. I'm a thief. Not quite the same thing. Let's just do this. Maybe it's a good idea, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not going to matter at all. Did you find something? So, they took their plunder down to the cave in the canyon. You've got to move quickly and get me that piece of loot. What? This? What are you talking about? Okay, man. Um, all right, something does happen. They took their plunder down to that cave in the canyon. Could move quickly and get you that piece of loot. Like, not back the way I came, surely. What are you talking about? It doesn't give me any more objectives, so. I didn't want the hand of Jer and the, the lucky hand of glory. I don't think. Hmm, well, I mean, the bandit camp is not, it's not a cave. There is a cave leading to it. But surely that's, he's not talking about that. They left a long time ago. 
That's their old cap. Well, we'll see if anything else comes to that or not. Might be some not very well marked objective. Which I guess would be alright. More buildings over there. What have we got up here? This is a canyon, right? This place is pretty enormous. Where does this take me? Hmm. Oh, this is the other side of the Barrack Canyon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not really be much good being here. Go for a swim. Nothing but sand. Well, at least we can wash some of that grime off. More zombies. Oh, hello. Somebody glowing. Let's check out the house. Let's be methodical here. Uh, horned skeletons. With swords. They're probably a little more dangerous than the, uh, than the zombies, I would think. So I guess I should be... Slightly more careful than, than I have been in the past. What was this? Hey, well, so how do I get up there? Yes, I don't. Or maybe I can come on top of this building. Some rooftop shenanigans may be possible. Tomb key. <laughs> I don't know if I can make that jump. Oh, I can climb up the thing and get up there. I don't need to make a jump. Be able to make this jump though, right? <laughs> Apparently not. Besides, the steps inside here. Well, uh, good thing I've got a snack, right? Yum. Me judging distances in the thief one style. Surprised when it doesn't work. <sighs> yeah, I know life is hard, isn't it? Let's see if we can check out the ground floor of this building first. Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. 
All right, well, that would let me continue on. Let me check out everything over the side. I do want to go up to the top of that place, but uh, it's these collapsed buildings here I have not been in or around. Maybe nothing here. No, yeah, there is something here. Alright, I'll do. Did I go in here? Yeah, that's the one I went up to the top and tried to jump from the roof off. Did... Did I go on top in the top of this one? No, this one I can make a jump, right? Uh huh. <laughs> nice. Okay, I think. <laughs> Ouch, I think I hurt. I also think it'll be okay. Oh, I mean, I'm just assuming this is locked. Yeah, it is. Oh. I mean, that's not gonna work. It's a tomb key. How am I gonna open this gate? It's gotta be the way to the tomb, surely. Hmm. I didn't stop to check is do any of these folks have a key on them? Like maybe they're glowing? You might have a key. Let's see. No key. Not a key. Okay, does the skeleton have a key? Or maybe the zombie? Wasn't really expecting to be. Uh, oh, you don't have a key, do you, mate? You jingle, but I think that's the jingle chains, not keys. I mean, the key is somewhere in one of these houses? Or what? That would be a nuisance because it's almost impossible to see anything in as small as the key given the darkness. have been in the mall and not seen any obvious signs of a key. I guess I didn't check this milk, but it does not help me to do so. I can also get on this ledge, but I'm not sure that's going to do me any good. Um, I don't have any crates to stack as an alternative. Did I miss anything? I went in there, right? 
Yeah, that's the one with two layers of upstairs. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna uh, chill here for a bit. And, um. Uh, end the episode here. So, uh, thanks for watching. I want to come back. I should hopefully have some pretty natural knowledge where the key I need is. So, I'll see you here for the next episode.